Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. If I follow you on social media and you don't follow me back, <laughs> I will wait for you. If I follow you a second time and you don't follow me back, I'll give you another chance. There you go, see? Everything's possible. It's all about that positive thinking. What were some of the things you were told about men while growing up? Don't trust them. Yeah, I agree with that one. What is the most surprising thing you've learned about men from your experiences? You can't trust them. <laughs> Facts. Do you prefer a man who is a gentleman or a bad boy? Bad boy. Bad boy. Is it fair to say women lust after bad boys but want to settle down with nice guys? Yeah. If you happen to be looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? A quality man? Church. Yes. That when was the last time you went to church? <laughs> like father like son like mother like daughter to be honest this video shouldn't even be this long it should have ended after what do you prefer a gentleman or a bad boy you were taught not to trust men but when it comes to choosing men you go for the bad boy and you're surprised you can't trust them seriously and then you taught and you raised your daughter to fail at the same exact things you failed yeah that was a good job mama you need three different guys in your 20s, like when you sleep with, when you go on dates with, and when you talk to. Like, no man can do all that. They suck. My man sucks. I hate him so much. All three of them? W why? Even the one you just keep around so you can talk to? <laughs> why do you hate them? Does some other things happen after the conversation? Listen to all the other TikTokers and do what they do. Have a roster. Multiply the three with three. In case you missed that, that's nine. Maybe then you won't hate them all so much. Three men you sleep with should keep you busy enough to not have so much time for hate. Or at least to not post your hate on TikTok. Back with more men explaining dating to you. When you force something, it never ends up the way you want it. I'm just seeing where things go. Um, going on a date is seeing where things go. Women are not going on first dates trying to force you into a relationship. Force is a very strong word. Aren't men supposed to be strong, provider, alpha, whatever? And yet you're terrified that a woman is going to force you into a relationship? You all act like you're gonna get tricked into being a boyfriend. If you don't wanna be in a relationship, that is fine. But you have to own it. Like, I seriously wanna know what people mean when they say force things. Well, since you started your video with another man explaining stuff to you, let me mansplain this to you as well. It's not that deep, really. When you're forcing a relationship, you're with someone just because you don't like to be alone. You don't like to be single. You're afraid you're lonely. You don't even like that person that you're with in a relationship all that much, but you're with them because you're afraid to be lonely. And obviously, I need to mansplain this to you also. He wasn't explaining to you anything. What you showed was what he wrote in the search tab. I'm not on dating apps but i've seen that before in different videos on dating apps you have to fill in that part with what you're searching for but hey it was nice of you to give me the opportunity to mansplain something to you so hey thank you if you don't want something say so that's exactly what the guy did if you didn't like what he wrote move on scroll whatever side is the right side get over yourself don't let your little feelings be hurt and move on the one thing i've never heard in my adult life hey do you want to be my best friend? When we were kids, it was normal to go up to somebody and say, Hey, I think you're really cool. Do you want to be my best friend? But now it's like, oh god, that person's really cool. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. And then we're in this crisis of loneliness where nobody has any friends anymore. Yet, for some reason, it's still normal to ask people, Do you want to be my boyfriend? Do you want to be my girlfriend? Well, why can't I just say, Do you want to be my best friend? I'm going to start making this a norm. Can we make this a norm? Can we just say, I think you're really cool. Do you want to be best friends? Try it out. Go on some friend dates. I don't know. No one has friends anymore. Speak for yourself. I have plenty of friends. Friends, close friends, brothers. And we don't do that anymore because we're grown. When we were kids, we didn't knew any better. We were socially awkward. And no, we absolutely cannot make this a norm. Just because you had some wild idea, it doesn't mean we need to normalize it. And by the way, sometimes it's best if you keep those ideas to yourself. Finally, trying these vintage cassette tapes that I found at the thrift store in this old radio that I also found at the thrift store. Um, I took one out of the box so that you could see it, and when I asked you guys which one we should try first, you said cocktail, and it's not Tom Cruise's band. Uh, it was this movie he was in, but there's a whole bunch of bands on this one 
thing. So it should be a really great representation of like late 1900s music. So let's go. It's what it looks like. And it goes into this slot that's on the side. Um, when I was looking at the bands on this one tape, I actually did know one of them. Um, the Beach Boys, because my mom used to watch this show, and on the show, there was, like, this hot uncle, and he was absolutely obsessed with this band, The Beach Boys, and they were actually on the show that one time. Goes this way. Did you guys know that, like, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, who plays the Scarlet Witch, her sister was actually on that show, and she, like, played a baby. All right, I'm gonna have to admit, this is how dumb I am. I have to look up late 1900, but I am not that dumb to look up how the other sister was playing a baby. You mean she was a baby? Because for some reason, I doubt she was full grown and played a baby. All right, I think we're ready. <laughs> but like, what do you do when the song runs out? Is that when, are they so hard to find because they're like single use? Like you just throw it away when it's done? That would be on brand for the late 1900s because they really did not care about the environment. And yet that at the end is why I posted this video. Not that we did because we didn't care about the environment. But when the sounds run out, you probably went deaf. What you definitely don't do is throw a good tape away. This is your reminder that you could be the whole package but it does not matter if you're at the wrong address. I absolutely agree. The problem is I ordered a new item. I didn't ask for it to be resealed and I did not ask for a refurbished item. I don't mind a few dents and scratches, but <laughs> overused, I'm gonna have to return it. So one of the rules I live by is that you will never regret silence. But one of the reasons I live by this rule is because of another universal truth. And that is, they will always, always come back. No, they don't. I hate to be the one who's gonna ruin your reality, but no, they don't always come back. I'm living proof of that, and I'm sure you are too. I know it feels your ego to say this on TikTok, but <laughs> come on now. I can't believe that in 2023, people don't know better than to take a selfie in the locker room at the gym with somebody that's nude or changing in the background, then post it to social media. And then comment something like this. I'm the one that had to block out this woman in the background. So to this young woman taking this photo, I hope JD Jim's this gym sees this, kicks your ass out. You owe that woman an apology and you better hope she doesn't want to press charges. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Imagine if someone would do the exact same thing to her. And just saying that I realized that everyone should. If I were all the other women in the locker room, I would wait until she's changing clothes and I would make sure she's posted on every social media account. Not that she didn't have enough common sense to not take that picture, but she didn't even have enough common sense to blur that picture so the other lady doesn't show up. And I agree with Joey 100%. She should be banned from that gym or any other gym. In town and I, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play the video! <laughs> I already did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright then, that's gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.